Want proof at least some movie executives think you're stupid? It's Saw. Again. Jigsaw is the eighth film in the well-known and much debated Saw series. Now, as I've said before, all movies have value. Even if a movie is entirely derivative, it still reflects on the times it was made. Maybe on the society. Maybe on the filmmakers. Maybe on the movie industry. Although really, nothing this year is going to reflect on the industry as much as casting Patrick Stewart as a talking turd. Saw 8, Jigsaw, is an excruciating movie. It is difficult to justify artistically, difficult to justify narratively, and difficult to justify... I would have hoped, commercially. But no. I mean, who's still going to see these Saw films? They're all the same thing. But people are, and I have to hand it to Saw as a franchise. If you're going to do a series to death, this is the way to do it. So, without reviewing Jigsaw, and without giving anything away, Saw 8 is pretty much what you would expect from a movie with the number 8 after its title. Pretty much like the previous 7, but mostly not quite as good. Saw has gone through an interesting development, where it transformed from a mostly serious beginning, where people were trapped in a kind of nightmare version of how do you escape this sort of game. Turns out you rub your hands together until they're sore, and then two halves make a hole. To gratuitous mega-violence, the likes of which you might expect if Rotten.com was made into a movie. To self-deprecating and fun nonsense, with Saw 6, Bashful, and Saw 3D, Dopey. Now it's trying to be a bit more serious again, although I'm not sure that matters, because it is very much the same thing. Again, even in its seventh outing, seemingly derided almost universally by critics, the Saw franchise was still making a lot of money. From 2004 to 2010, there was a new Saw film every year. That's a lot. They only stopped because Lionsgate, the distributor, pulled the plug after Saw 6 didn't do so well. But it still made money. Saw 7 made twice as much as Saw 6, but also incidentally cost the most to make. This takes me to my real point. Yes, I have a point. Shut up. Jigsaw hasn't done spectacularly well at the box office, and its run has all but ended. It's had the worst performing debut of the entire series, but it's actually done something I think is commendable in today's filmmaking environment. It's not followed the apparently increasingly popular and incredibly stupid strategy of throwing money at half-baked scripts, expecting a seven-movie franchise and billion-dollar merchandising tree to grow where the director's integrity was hunted down and slain, presumably by the aliens from They Live. With a production budget of $10 million, yes, Jigsaw might not be the caviar-covered underage blood-soaked philistine cake movie executives seem to need to fill their meaningless and worthless existences. But even with a very high print and advertising cost, it was always going to be very hard for Jigsaw not to make money. Lionsgate decided to finish with the franchise after Saw 6's results, but that still made a worldwide box office total of $68 million, on a production budget of $11 million. So I'm not sure that Jigsaw, currently at a worldwide total box office of $60 million on a $10 million budget, is the beginning of Saw's second wind. I mean, maybe. It depends how desperate they are. There's also the fact that Tobin Bell is 75 now, so that the series increasingly suffers from Better Call Saul syndrome, where increasingly older actors play prequel or flashback versions of themselves. Saw, once fresh, became stale as quickly as you'd expect a franchise with a movie coming out every year to become stale. Even with its hiatus, it has not returned to what it once was. The new film was never going to capture the original excitement that the first Saw, or maybe even the first two or three, could command. But as an exercise in making low-risk, smaller-budget movies go, the franchise works because it found its niche and never strayed too far. It's been done to death. But if they stop now, which I think they might, at least for a little while, they've done nothing but make money. Jigsaw, I think, and the Saw franchise as a whole, is a great indicator of what the movie industry has become. It's full of filler, full of cardboard, it's counter-innovative. It's always been about making money, but now you can make money with diminishing returns by just making the same film again and again. Yeah, that might not work long term, but who's thinking about the long term? Saw isn't really a great offender. 
it's a modern B-movie, you probably expect an element of churn. It's just it's been doing it better than most big budget attempts using the same churn it out strategies. But what's really irritating is how openly this all holds moviegoers in contempt. That really seems to be the new paradigm for Hollywood. If you're going to whip a franchise to death, Saw is a good example of how to do it. Don't spend a lot of money and just regurgitate old ideas. It's easy. Well, whatever. This is a new series I'm doing called As an Aside. Shorter than my film vlogs, it'll appear every Monday, even though today is Wednesday. My film vlogs will appear a little less frequently, so I have more time to really get my hands over the Hollywood shit-encrusted U-Bend. I hope to see you on Monday for the next episode of As an Aside, which will be about... I don't know what, because I haven't done it yet. Hope to see you there anyway. Thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.